So a guy by the name of Matthew Charles from Nashville is being sent back to prison after serving 21 years of his 35 year uh, prison sentence for selling crack. And because of a uh, technical error in like the, the court system or whatever, he doesn't apply for the amendments that Obama passed uh, when he was in office for these drug crime things where it's like, you know, in the 90s, if you if you if you were convicted for selling crack or whatever, you would have your sentence amended and stuff. But because he was considered a career criminal, he didn't apply for that. And they're like, oops, sorry, we made a mistake. And after being outside for two years, they're going to be like, oh, sorry, we're going to send you back. And, you know, while he was in prison, he was a model prisoner. Uh, you know, he did nothing wrong. He, he you know, he helped other people who were illiterate, you know, do their cases and, and, you know, file court cases and all this shit. Like, you know, he's, he's a good guy and people should not be going to prison for selling crack or for selling a lot of different drugs to begin with. You know, I think you should decriminalize a lot of these drugs from, from the start. And, uh, I think we understand that making things illegal, sh we should understand this by now. doesn't make it go away. <laughs> we, we made alcohol illegal. And what happened when that, when that happened, like in America, didn't that create a bunch of fucking crime? So why is it people, they have some cognitive, cognitive dissidence, you know, a lot of conservatives, a lot of times when it comes to certain drugs and stuff and they're like well no we got to make these ones illegal because of this because of that because of this and it's like no you're not thinking this fucking through it's just like with guns you know when you tell liberals like hey uh if you ban guns that's not going to make them go away you're just going to have the guns just the good guys are going to have the guns but you know to make people re reduce doing drugs it's not to make you, you can't you can't just make everything illegal what will reduce people from doing heroin and crack and all this other shit is having stable families. It's it's the parent educating their kid, right? Like cigarette use and uh, people smoking cigarettes didn't went down because of uh, the uh, new knowledge that was coming out and the risk of cancer and people are finding, oh, okay, it's actually really bad for you, right? So. You didn't need to make anything illegal. Now these all these other countries are, oh, you can't smoke like here. You can't smoke here. And there's there's no evidence that actually reduces smoking. What what reduced it was the uh, new information. And also, you know, just having you, you, you find that people smoke when they come from single parent households as well. There's so many things tied into that. And, you know, these these repressive laws that are putting people in prison for like drug charges and shit all this does is make the problem worse because it breaks up the family now you have single mothers raising the kids and you know this this is what one of the things that have destroyed the the communities in the in, in america like the black community is just like these repressive laws which they knew that they were the ones who were doing primarily crack so they were putting people away for like 35 years and this is like in nashville a lot of these southern states yeah you know they were that's probably what they were doing. They're just trying to put a lot of black people in prison. And, you know, they're not really thinking this uh, through, right? You know, because people, the government and stuff, they use their own prejudice against us sometimes to be like, okay, good, you know, we need to put these people in prison. But all they're being used for is cheap labor, which is destroying jobs for everybody. It's going to affect the whole fucking community, right? You know, like there there's a lot of like towns and stuff the lobby to have like these private prisons and stuff come into their communities because they'll bring some jobs and stuff but really that's just destroying the rest of society because it's you know one of the reasons there's all of these laws which are putting people in prison for stupid shit is because of the private prison industry mixed in with the large government because the private prisons can lobby the the large government to make new laws to put people in prison, which then these private prisons now, uh, you know, they get tons of funding from the government as well. And then also they can use these prisoners as cheap labor. And it's it's not like they're just doing menial jobs. They're doing very high paying, high paid jobs, not just manufacturing jobs. They actually, a lot of these people are answering phones. They're setting up people's insurance, some fucking prisoners. Like you'd be surprised the, the level 
of, of jobs and stuff that they're making these people do, which is taking very good paying jobs from the average citizen. And people, they, they don't think about this. And people will think like, you know, one of the ways to reduce this is to have a smaller government. But I think another way to stop this too is all you would really need to do is make a law against prisoners working like that. People think like they're convinced, oh, we need to make them pay off their debt to society because of this, this and that. But that's just propaganda. They watch, they're not paying their debt off society by working for a company for pennies that is literally like, how can you compete with a company that is paying their employees cents on the fucking dollar and who is and, and all the money that they're using to house these prisoners to feed them and all this shit is coming from taxpayers. So literally you're subsidizing the destruction of your economy and a lot of jobs within your own area by having these prisons and stuff and it's like it's not just the private prison it's the government as well enabling it right you know companies private businesses are are you know you got to think of them as drug addicts and the government is the dealer so you know, the drug addict will always try to get more drugs from the dealer as long as the dealer is there and has the drugs available to give him and all this shit because he, he, he's hooked. He's addicted. So, you know, private businesses right now, they're addicted to government wealth, to government uh, funding and, and, and uh, corporate welfare and shit. So, you know, they're getting their businesses subsidized. And it's like I said, it's destroying the competition, it's destroying the actual free market. And it's fucking bullshit. This guy should not be going away for this many years for some uh, nonviolent crime. You know, you can think what you want of crack, but so many other things which are legal are just as bad. You know, so many of these prescription drugs which get a pass are just as bad and are causing just as many issues and all this shit. And you look at uh, the heroin epidemic right now, that was pretty much caused by doctors giving legal drugs to people which are now like causing this huge fucking issue, right? So that was just as bad. And these doctors were just as bad and all this shit, but they're not going to prison away for 35 years or anything like that. So, you know, it's, it's bullshit. The, what I think you need to do is, like I said before, is just make it illegal for these people to work any type of job. That should be passed in all of your states and, you know, each and every one. Because if you do that, that will, I think, solve a lot of issues that you, you will see a lot that there if if they can't uh, have these people work as slave labor, what what's they, they'll have no incentive to lobby the government to make all these new laws and all these things to put people in prison because they, they'd have no point. There'd be no point because they can't make a profit off it because but because uh, they can work and we're, we're using them like this. That's going to keep incentivizing these companies, these pri these private prisons, these uh, you know unions, these police unions, and all whatever, to make more and more and more and more laws to put people away because you know they want cheap fucking labor, so just cut off their cheap labor, and I think that will solve the problem but you know you read articles about this issue and stuff no nobody's mentioning that they're nobody they're gonna try to make this just a racial issue which it kind of is but it's not it's much deeper than that it's much much deeper than that and in, in the media they should be talking about what the the these laws and and the fact that they're these people are being used as like slaves pretty much getting paid like cents or a dollar in a fucking hour what the effects that this is having to society to the jobs because like i said you know you're just creating a bunch of single mothers too which is just going to make those kids more likely to commit crimes uh that are bullshit or or actually very violent and then they're going to be sent to prison to be more cheap laborers you know it's just a, it's a cycle it's going to keep going on until you 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 stop this until you make yeah you make it so they can't work or something like i don't know that's what I think, or, you know, reduce the size of the state, or, you know, the capability of the government to make certain things like this illegal, you know, if, if it doesn't violate the non aggression principle, which uh, a transaction, like selling a drug 
doing a drug is that's not a it's not a violation of non-aggression principle like it's a voluntary transaction you know that is that's another thing people they're like oh you know we gotta make it so we stop these people going in to sell the community and st this this and that it's like yeah okay that is bad but a way to prevent your kid from getting hooked on heroin is being an involved parent is being there for your kid it's having uh being married uh being a good role model not being in a single mother household because you know there's all this propaganda going out you know it's oh you can do it all you can be a single mom you can have kids a career at this and that and that's a fucking lie if you do that you're gonna have to give up something and typically what what people give up is their kids they're gonna focus on their career they're gonna do this and they're gonna neglect their kids and then their kids are gonna grow up all fucked up and going to prison being cheap laborers or becoming whores and you know having kids with like five different fucking dudes living off of the system and then all their kids will be resentful and they'll be criminal you know it's, it's just gonna fuck everything up so you know this is bullshit this guy should not go to prison he should not uh go back from the remainder of his sentence and this should be a wake-up call to people and they, they got to look at this issue more deeply right and not just i know a lot of people are going to look at this and be like oh it's just because he's black this this and that where maybe that's a part of it but it's just to do with cheap labor you know that is this is all it is this you know there's you, you you think like america doesn't have slavery but you pretty much do honestly you you really do with uh the amount of people like this is why america has so many more people in prison compared to the rest of the world it's because, and and you know you haven't really abolished slavery you just made it so it, it's just people in your prisons now and you know people are see it's black people are still in prison but you know half of them are still white half the people in prison are still white people throw that at you as well like, well half of them are still white so it's, it's not a racial issue it's it's a class issue they're going they're they're doing they're putting people away who are poor in prison and you know that's disproportionately some black people so that's probably why it's affecting them too but or or uh, per capita more but they're going for these people because they cannot speak out as much and they don't have the money to skirt the laws like rich people do like you know in baltimore like why people were rioting and shit it's not just because they're crazy you know or whatever like people were being put in prison for having their grass too high <laughs> like it you know because they weren't uh lawn mooring their lawn and it's like people could they could get like three strike rules and like you know they were getting put in prison for the most ridiculous things and the the reason that was it's just for cheap labor you know so that just creates more tension within the community and then now it becomes like a whole racial issue which is even worse now <laughs> it fucks everything up and we're all just doing this for the profits of these companies who are abusing the power of the state right so you know uh, even if you're a racist or whatever you're like oh this black guy deserve this it's like you know just think of this pragmatically this you know this will this is affecting you even if you don't care about this guy whatsoever this is affecting you this is affecting your income your livelihood and it is it, you know this it's it's not you no know, we don't live in a bubble we don't live separate from everybody we are connected in a lot of ways especially if you live in the same country and stuff but that's all i pretty much had to say if you like my content subscribe and have a good day see ya